Welcome back guys and uh, today we are here with a new deck and a new video. Two in one, I know. But yeah, uh, today we are going to be playing the five colour dragons which sounds a lot jankier and spicier than it there really is ultimately at the end of the day. Because we have, with the dragons deck you have so many cards that fill for mana such as Dragon's Horde and Sarkin that playing these extra colours on the splash is kind of just basically free. So it doesn't cost you too much, so it allows you to play the play the best dragons in the deck. Uh, full disclosure here, this deck is not complete. Uh, I would like a lot more of the mythic, uh, the mythic elder dragons from M19, I think. Yeah, from M19, such as you know the Esper one, the Jund one, etc., uh, the and also Daragaz from Dominaria. And I'd swap out these Glorybringers and the Varix Blade Wing for them, but. Kind of running low on Mythic Rare Wild cards, stockpiling up for Ravnica now, so I <laughs> uh, don't think I'll be completing this deck anytime soon. But that's just a little disclaimer there. Although, of course, Glorybringers and Varric's Blade Ring are both very good anywhere. Yeah, I mean, the deck is pretty straightforward. You can see the cards here. It's mostly just big dragons such as Palladium Moors, Bolas, Varric's Blade Wing, Glorybringer, and then a shell based around them with Ramp, Fixing, and Removal. Not really too much exciting to going on. Uh, the only real spicy card I will talk about is Yorg Yorgmoth Spile Offering. I really struggle to say that card. <laughs> but uh, this is kind of my secret tech because I think this card is very underrated. It's an extremely powerful effect. It just needs to find a home. And I think I found a kind of a home here. Uh, generally, it's, it's clunky because you do need a legendary permanent. But with 8 planeswalkers and then all the dr legendary dragons, it is fairly consistent to be able to cast this card and if you do cast it you're normally so far ahead because I mean you're killing their best creature most of the time and then you're getting your best spell from your graveyard or if you're lucky enough even your opponent's graveyard so I mean like even if you just take like a basic situation let's say you use this then you kill like I don't know like the steel leaf champion and then you get back a Chandra that's just an absolutely insane turn <laughs> so that's that's not even best case scenario either it's it's clunky, you will lose games because you can't cast it occasionally, but I think it's definitely worth that cost because most games you cast it, you win. But yeah, and I think that's enough talking really about the deck. It's, it's. I mean, it explains the stuff. You can see here we have all this ramp and fixing and the big dragons. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not rocket science to figure this one out. And let's uh, play some games of magic here. Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to Ravnica. A couple cards have been spotted so far, but... No, not 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 too much, but it does look pretty fun from what I've seen so far. And it's always nice when standard rotates because you know you get new meta, lots of new cards fall out of favor and all that stuff. Yeah, it looks like this hand looks pretty good. I'm not sure I will be casting this tormenting voice in turn two just because. Uh, I mean, this hand is kind of what I want. <laughs> I'd, I'd like a better idea what to discard before I cast this tormenting voice. Which is kind of sacrilege because I'd keep I'd keep six lands in a torment voice. Uh, looks like we're playing red aggro though, so it could be a very quick game. I don't really have the hand for it. Uh, we have the abrade, but one removal spell does not make <laughs> does not does not make a uh, a victory versus the red deck wins. What do I abrade here, assuming he doesn't play anything? It's kind of an interesting decision. I kind of want to get the Bormat Courier, but this thing does put on more pressure. Uh, I think I'm going to kill the Bormat. If I get the choice, unless he plays like a... something scary. Hmm. It's tough, because that is a faster clock, but... I mean, I don't. He's already down to three cards. I think I've got to kill the uh, Bormat here, just in case he has a Titan Strength, uh, Brute Strength, or whatever. That's why I'm just drawing the Target Artifact. Uh, never gonna come up most likely, but you never know. Why give them the chance? Well, I think it's pretty safe to know what we're discarding now. Kind of hope we, if we draw a fatal push, I'll feel a lot more confident here. Or a sweeper, one of the, one of the two, sweeper or fatal push. 
unfortunately. A braid is a bit too slow here. Although I can go Chandra plus a braid and he has to decide whether he kills that or the Chandra. But if he has something like a Hazard here, I think we're not going to be able We don't have the hand to be the Hazard. Uh, it looks like he doesn't have one anywhere. Hopefully he just passes back here. <laughs> he does, interesting. Okay, I think we're just going to go for that Chandra line. Chandra, a braid, the Vishano Pyromancer. And then uh, if we get to go to our next turn, we'll be able to Yogoth Mephal Offering. And then against Monored, I'm very happy casting it, even if I've got no exciting targets, just because the ch it's, it's so rare that you'll have a legendary creature sticking on the board that even just the very basic Yogmoth's Yog file offering and you will tend to uh, take over the game but it's my turn. Shandra's gonna at least buy me five life minimum and then oh, uh, she also day. allows me to cast the spirit and she, if she lives I can start plusing could take out the Gitu Lava Run if I was thinking he's going to get two instants and sorceries in the graveyard, but I think it's not too big of a difference. I don't run like any 1-1 one -one creatures in this deck that would block the Pyromancer better than they would block <laughs> Gitu Lava Runner anywhere. And I went back to his main fist, so he didn't play any of his spells he had in hand. Get Lightning Strike. And shock. Okay, so I mean, like I said, save me five life there. Now we can play our sock in here. I think I'm just gonna. I should have just. I should have uh, played the uncharted territory over the thing there, but I think I'm just gonna plus and discard this uncharted territory now. Okay, I'm gonna keep Chandra. Kind of like everything in my hand here, so I'm just gonna pass back. Not, not Hazard, not Hazard, not Hazard, not Hazard. <laughs> oh, Chain Wheel. Okay, Chain Wheel is fine. I can beat a Chain Wheel. Because now I get to, uh, yeah, you'll you'll see the power of Yogwath's file offering here. Because I get to get back my Chandra now. So, exactly five mana, so I might as well just do this. My graveyard, thank you very much. Get back for Chandra, kill your chain whirler. And now I'll minus Chandra. And then I think I'm just gonna. I don't really want to discard anything in my hand because if Chandra dies, I'd like the replacement in my hand. So I think I'm just gonna plus for the mana here. I could discard this torment voice. Actually, I'm just gonna do that. Told me I should do this. Okay, second Yogwoth file offer. I'm feeling very confident now. <laughs> he needs pretty much hazard off the top, I think. Okay. I'm going to filter for blue mana. I summon you. Play my Nicole Bolas. I should have plus Chandra first, but didn't end up mattering. And then pass back. Yeah. So as long as he doesn't draw Hazard, I think we can win this game. <laughs> Braid was a perfect draw there. Yep, you're going down. You can kind of see what the deck's doing here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to attack with Bolas though, to be honest. Because, uh, I don't know, it's tough. I, it's interesting. It would close out the game faster. But I feel like I'm going to be winning with the Sark and Ultimate anyway, so I think I should just pass the turn. But that gives him more chance to, like, Lightning Bolas. I don't know. I'm just going to pass the turn. I don't think attacking's right here. I get you lava runners are online. See? I feel I feel vindicated now.
well, a lot of Chandras now. Probably just will discard one Chandra now. Okay. Uh, I'll get back his Chain Whirler, I think. That's the best target. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So, Vile Offering. Chain Whirler. Kill this thing. Now I'll start attacking with Bolas. Again, I should have plused first. <laughs> I'm getting lucky that I keep just hitting lands. I know what I'm doing. Okay, there's a fail push, nice. I think we have lethal next turn. Yeah, we definitely have lethal next turn, I think. So Scott Mage, not gonna do it. So we got lucky that our opponent did flood out a little bit there. But yeah, they're playing mono red. I, I, I have no sympathy. <laughs> Kinda of sad we never got to flip ball us, but hey. Yep. You're going down. And there we go. So I didn't feel confident versus Mono Red, but they didn't really have the the final straw, the Hazard, the Rekindling Phoenix. And uh, we managed to bounce back from that. On to game two. I definitely wouldn't say Mono Red is a Particularly winning matchup, but it's 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 beatable as you saw there. If you if you draw your removal hands into planeswalkers, this hand is nah, it's very tempting, but we'd need to draw land. I don't think it's worth it. I think we can do better. Well, this hand is pretty much the same, except we've already got a third land, so I'll keep that as well. Allows us to play Bolas now off the uh, Dragon's Horde. If we're playing control here, this could get ugly, but... Uh, as long as they don't have a negate or a sink up here, we might be okay. But we desperately need this Dragon's Horde to resolve. <laughs> okay, looks like we're playing like some sort of Is It Burn deck now. I think that's beatable. I think we can beat Is It Burn. Not if we keep drawing lands. We do need to draw other stuff here. But I will happily just play Bolas and then trade with whatever creature plus removal spell he has. Hmm. Shock and face, just so he's get rather love and has an extra power. Okay, second Chandra is nice. Now Bolas. I we can start drawing cards off this Dragon's Horde as well, but I will just trade off with this Gitu Lava Runner here. Uh, if we get the opportunity to, anyway. Either way, it's going to save me a lot of life, because it'll be like Double Shock, or Lightning Strike plus Shock or whatever, to kill the Nicol Bolas. Riddle form, interesting. I might actually want to keep the, the Bolas around now. Okay, he's gonna go with that plus lightning strike, I'm imagining. Oh, wizard lightning, that works. Okay. Yeah, any expertise? I don't know. I think I'm just gonna Chandra minus on the Gitu Lava Runner. It's actually quite nice, because if he doesn't draw a non-creature spell, which he has in his hand, <laughs> Spell Pierce? We can pay that as well. Okay, I'm very fine with that. Must have missed the Dragon Sword. Either way, I'm very fine with that. Because now he needs to top deck a haste creature or a spell. Otherwise, my Chandra lives, and that's just disastrous for him. Like, if he draws a land here, he's in, he's in, he's in uh, the trouble to. Even that doesn't do it. Ooh, he's in trouble now. Ooh, you're a man. Ooh, you're in trouble. If I use the mana, that would allow me to. Nah, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Might as well just plus like this. This will be easy. Don't really want to cast that. I'll go to Glorybringer and kill this Spellweaver too. Might as well draw my card now. Just in case I drew a land. I can lose Chandra here, but like I said, I've got the backup one, so 
just killing his creatures, going for one for one. He won't be able to burn me out with straight up burn here. Because now we can just Chandra and Minus and then Riddle Form Scry. I forgot Riddle Form had that ability there. Might even just plus Chandra at this point. Uh, I guess plus and Chandra is not great either, just because any, like I said, any non-creature spell that's five damage, which kills it anywhere. So I think I'm just gonna minus Chandra still. I knew you needed my help. Oh, that's nasty. Hmm. Still, I wish I, I should have tapped the other dragon sword. That was a mistake. Okay. He has double riddle phone now, so this glory ring is gonna be on defense. <laughs> There's a Sarkin, but we'll draw a card first. Sarkin's nice because I can just start filtering through my deck a bit more now. I fight with a don't doubt my methods. As a bolus as well. Bolas can flip next turn and that should just close out the game here. I see no reason to attack. Because I don't want to block with Bolas considering you can flip and win the game, yeah. Opponent sees that line as well. So yeah, well, I mean I'm proving I can beat burn decks. <laughs> I've got to say I don't think the matchup's favourable but I'm proving I can beat it at least. Hey we get a pack. And maybe it'll be one of these mythic dragons, never mind, it's a dragon sword we already had. Oh, we got an uncommon wild card. Apart from that, very mediocre. We'll play at least one more game. I don't know, I'm not sure if I played that one entirely right, because I got lucky to top deck the Sarkin. Maybe, if I could have maybe played it in a way where I kept one of the Chandras and I could just go off with her card advantage instead, but... I think I did that right. Mm, no double red, nothing this hand's castable. I can't keep. This hand's better. Do I want a fourth land? I mean, I've got a glory bring it, uh, but I mean, I could cast that anywhere. I've got a torment voice, I'm going to be greedy. More red. <laughs> well, you're seeing the uh, free play ladder at its finest here, folks. I swear there is other decks. <laughs> I promise you, I play other decks, and it's super cool. Uh, this could be the exact same draw. No, it's not. Uh, okay, I don't think we can particularly beat the triple one-drop draw without one of our two sweepers. So I'll be torming, tormenting voice aggressively here. Sarkin's just not doing anything on this board. It's not going to live. So it's like, do I want to play three minor sorcery speed gain? Real life. Like maybe Glory Bring it does do something in the future, but I think Sarkin has to go. Kinda wishing I kept that land on top. Oh. Yeah, I think this game's gonna I don't think triple one drop, even with double upgrade here. I don't think I can keep up with this without one of my sweepers. So I'm just gonna dig as fast as possible for that. Which means I probably should have just discarded Glory Bring so I could have uh, start looting with Sarkin. So I think that's probably my fault. Okay, fail push is nice though. This buys me some more time. So I'll find off removal spells just to try and buy some life here. Okay, our opponent just had the absolute nuts draw there. <laughs> like, quadruple one, one drop and then double double wizard's lightning? Nah, not happening, not happening. Yeah. Yeah, I was never beating that draw without a swallowing suns. But, you know, sometimes you just lose to these mono red decks. <laughs> you can't beat them all. Like I said, it's not exactly a favorable matchup. I'll tell you what, I'll keep playing for this second pack. That's what I'll do. So five more red spells. So this could potentially be the last game, but 
if I get run over again. Uh, hopefully we'll play something anything other than mono red. <laughs> I don't like playing decks against one kind of archetype, but you know you can't help it at the minute. Uh, this hand's slow, really, really slow. It's pretty much already a mulligan, so I might as well mulligan down. Does it get, I mean, yeah, I can Dragon's Hold, but I'm not casting that thing till turn 5. I'm not doing anything in that hand till turn 5, and that's just suicide. Yeah, I was never... Yeah, double double Wizards of Lightning with... Uh, you drew two lands, all action, which is kind of the dream for Mono Red. Okay, this hand, however, is more salvageable. I don't think... I think it's better than the random 5, because likewise you can just find a second red off the top. So turn four nickel ball us here. Hopefully it will ride us. To, we can ride it to victory. A little bit of disruption here with the fatal push. So hopefully Sarkin can stick around. Anyway, our opponent, the ticket tree today. Uh, please, anything other than mountain. Anything other than mountain. <laughs> hey, look at that. We did find a different deck. Woodland stream could be Merfolk. Most likely Merfolk, or maybe some sort of teamer deck. Yeah, this looks like Merfolk to me. Never mind, I was wrong. Double Lana Wells, but he didn't play one last turn. Hello. Nice to meet you. Because, you know, normal chat, just root, just couldn't have it. Everyone's too toxic, apparently. I'm very interested whether a fatal push here. It would keep him off five lands next turn, which is like Vivian Reed territory. So, I think I'm going to fatal push. I can't imagine there's too many more priority targets I could fail pushing this deck. Ooh, that was close, now they abraded. I'm not sure if I keep abraded, to be honest. Or for I'm just gonna get rid of forest. I mean, Mount, uh, you know what I mean. At land. <laughs> okay, I can't remember the land, it's land. There we go. No, I'm feeling okay. I mean, generally I found with these green decks. Okay, I didn't expect the glint that's green. <laughs> I was gonna say, generally with these green decks, I found that uh, Yorgmoth's Vile Offering is your best card. But uh, this is looking like that Proteo deck that was terrible, but it wouldn't have been that terrible, so. my The jury's still out. Okay. I think I'm just gonna. Add two combination. Come to me. And then I'm gonna. Blue and black. I'm going to Nicole Bolas. Hopefully, leaving up red mana. There we go. You have to choose what to discard. And then I'm going to abrade his Lana Wells. Because I think this deck likes having a lot of mana. If I remember correctly, so I'm just going to try and take out his mana sources. Yeah, and then next turn I can Chandra minus on kill another creature and then just hopefully run away with the game. I know he has a blister in hand. I don't know why it disappeared from his hand, because I know he has it. But uh... <laughs> He keeps saying hello, I wonder why. Unless the game's glitched, I don't know. Oh, I didn't think about counter spells, I forgot they did run them. Oh well. Not the end of the world. I'll show you Speak of the devil and it will arrive. So like I said, this is going to go perfect next turn. We get to reanimate the Chandra and then kill his, one of his creatures here. If he taps out for his bliss, I say. Well, that works as well. I wonder how much he loads up on the Glintness crane here. Hmm. This is tough. Which one do I want more, Sarkin or Nicol Bolas? I desperate. If I hit a fifth land next turn, I think I just win the game. Sarkin gives me the best chance of hitting my fifth land, so I think I have to jump with Bolas. Because uh, Sarkin gives me two digs at an untapped land. We found one anyway, so but like now we get to go Nicol Bolas. To return my Chandra, kill his Glintness Crane, now we get to minus on his Verdurous Gearhole, 
now we just get to plus. Don't doubt my methods. So blister, I think, would obviously kill Chandra, but uh, hopefully we can get something going here. Uh, maybe the blister went in the bin, and I just missed that. Yeah, blister was in the graveyard. So I just kind of been talking at my ass these last couple of games. I will 